Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to talk about how to sell my product online uh, for affiliate marketing. Okay, I just want to give you some ideas and tips on how to get someone to click on your affiliate link. Just some more ideas for you that hopefully can help you out. Okay, now have you ever heard the saying, sell the sizzle, not the steak? Uh, yeah, people don't buy products. Okay, they they buy what the product can do for them, right? They don't care about SEO. They don't care about, you know, all that kind of stuff. They care about what SEO can give them. It's everything. So if you're in the make money online niche, in the internet marketing niche or something like that, um, then everything comes down to the money, right? Show me the money. It, it really is, you know? So if you're not really talking about the money um, or the results, then you're missing out. Now, if you're not in the internet marketing niche, so you're in the health niche, then you want to talk about the results that somebody wants, the end result, okay? It really is. Uh, the closer to the money or the end result, the better it's going to be. So as affiliate marketers, our job is to promote other people's products, okay? That's how we get paid. Um, the fir first rule of affiliate marketing, one of the biggest mistakes you can make, what do you think it is? Yeah, you don't stick your affiliate link out there, right? I mean, you can't make any money if you can't put your link out there. It's kind of like that saying, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And hey, I've been guilty of that many times. So yeah, you, it's just, so a good rule of thumb, obviously there's a gray area of this, but you don't want to put out promotion, a promotional post without a link to a website where you can actually, someone can buy something and you can get paid. It's kind of important, okay? Um, in fact, you know, there's an argument about this too, but you can, you can sell a lot as an affiliate marketer if you know what you're doing, okay, you can. Um, so you do want to sell a lot uh, if you do it the right way, okay. You know, you don't want to be like, oh, well, here's the product, XYD, it does this, you know, you can get a 20% discount. No, no, don't do it like that. That's what everybody does. You know, it's just boring, okay. Anyways, so back to what I was saying. Everything has to come down to the end result, which is the money in, in internet marketing, okay? That's what you want to talk about. Now, apart from that, there's other targets you can attack apart from the end result. Um, and I'm going to share, I'm going to bring some more ideas with you and give you some ideas and some things that you could talk about to make your promos more creative, more fun, more different, and kind of give you some more ammo to throw out there in the world, okay? All right. So one idea is pain. Yes, talk about pain. Uh, you could talk about the pain of, you know, someone's an affiliate marketer not making any money. Yeah, that's, that, that could be painful. Logging into your JVZoo account or ClickBank and seeing that the dreaded zero there. I talk about a lot in my promos. Um, and how much money you made. It's a kind of a shitty feeling, right? You could talk about problems. That's another angle apart from pain. Now, problems are going to be a little more specific than pain. They could be in certain aspects. Uh, you could talk about how no one's clicking on your affiliate link, right? Nobody's opening up your emails. That's a problem um, that you're sending out. Uh, your video's not getting in views. You're not getting the engagement on your posts. As you can see, it can go on and on and on. Uh, so that's another angle that you can kind of attack in your promos too, too. All right. Um, now, fear is another angle that you can attack. You kind of bring up in your promos, right? Uh, What's going to happen if you don't make any money, you know? Well, you got to get a second job that you hate. How will you pay off your, you know, if you have debt, how, how's that going to plan it? You see, you see where I'm going with this is? You can have another ways of looking at things rather than just, hey, click this link. You know, it'll do X, Y, Z for you. <laughs> I see that so much. <laughs> Come on, you guys, we can be a little more creative as affiliate marketers here, okay? That's our job. We're entertainers and educators, right? All right, so these, these, that's where I'm going with this, okay? All right. Um, now, one very, very, it's common sense, but one hugely important po uh, point I want to make is um, if you kind of bring up the problems, you have to kind of show somebody how to solve their problem, right? Uh, by recommending products that do what the problem is. You have to kind of connect the dots there. Um, and even more important, <laughs> hello, this is kind of a no-brainer, but the products you recommend can't be junk. Yeah, they have to be somewhat good. Uh, that's pretty important, really. Um, if you don't believe in the product you're promoting, it don't promote the damn thing. I mean, 
you know, uh, did you buy the product that you're sharing with people? Did you? It's a good question. Um, so, so your job as an affiliate marketer, if you're in the make money niche, is to really kind of open up somebody's eyes that, hey, you're not making any money, man. <laughs> It kind of is. And obviously, if you know another niche, you want to talk about something differently, obviously. But you're turning the knife into somebody, not because you enjoy doing it to be mean. It's because you want to help them, okay? Uh, it, it, you know, it's the way it is, okay? So, all right. So, there's many other angles you can talk about, like embarrassment. Yeah, you know, the embarrassment of uh, seeing your, your partner or, you know, and telling him or her, that, hey, I'm still not making any money. Uh, telling your friends and family, <laughs> you're not making any money. Uh, how, how are you shading how much money you spent in internet marketing and still made zero, right? Those are other ways you can kind of attack this angle as well. Um, then you can kind of talk about the solution. Like, I'll, I'll give you an example of this. Well, are you ashamed of how much money you spent? Well, don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. This product will will make you money if you just follow the steps, you know, uh, like paint by number. Okay. Uh, so these are kind of like negatives. I kind of call them like pushing, pushing somebody away from their current situation uh, to invest in something new, to try something different, right? Uh, all right. Now, apart from negatives, I hope these, this gives you some ideas. There's also a pull technique. I, I don't really think the pull technique is effective, but I, I do it all the time. But you can kind of combine them both, and they'll be very effective. And um, this is where I'm going with the pull method. Pull is when you're pulling someone towards something they want. And it doesn't have to be money. It could be like freedom, being their own boss, spending time with their friends and family, working from home. Uh, now, if you combine these, both of these in your promos, then they can be very powerful as well. Um, but they all have to lead to the end result of what somebody wants. Kind of has to tie in there. Uh, so you want to talk about the money, okay? Um, so I hope you got some value from this video or podcast um, on how to sell uh, a product online. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. Uh, that would mean, you know, I really would appreciate that, okay, down there. Now... I've been doing affiliate marketing for probably about eight years, maybe 10 years, something like that. I've been into it. Uh, if you want to discover my number one tip uh, that can help your affiliate business, then click that link below or go to trustthelink.com. Okay, check it out. Um, I wish you the best. Okay, have a very awesome rest of your day. Take care and uh, bye for now.